of patience, I think, on everyone's part, you know, the young children, because we have been in with the parents, the parents who've attended and even the staff, because it's been quite challenging, I think, because yeah. a lot of time and efforts required to make something like a group like this to, you know, kind of, kind of it's overwhelming develop. Yeah. I mean, it does get quite, you know, but I think you just have to keep trying and not give up and just see, it, it'll come, but just with a little support, but everyone, yeah. teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a change is always intimidating and I am, um, myself, I am a bilingual and I am a migrant and I remember um, when I came, even I came an adult, as an adult and mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about children, for example, mm -hmm. uh, and working with bilingual kids, I remember that, that always, I never forget that challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is different. Um, the, the institution can be intimidating as well by the mm -hmm. difference, you know, the, the school in here, it's not like the school somewhere else. Uh, the equipment, the, 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 the daily, the school, the day, mm -hmm. the, the, during a uh, school day, the children, they have to go through a lot of information and stuff, it's something new. Mm -hmm. So that um, parents, they are overwhelmed as well mm -hmm. because they don't have the tools to communicate with the institution and the school, especially the school. And the, the school as an institution is very present in family's life. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if there is no communication with the most important institu institution, there is a dis disadvantage. Mm -hmm. And then that disadvantage can have an impact on the child's uh, education and also for parents because this is a part of the curriculum for excellence now mm -hmm. is that you know, we have a big project now um, in um, um, Hey you is uh, how good is our school yeah. and is a very big one the family learning. Family learning is, the school is not just about the young people, it's about families as well. Mm -hmm. And we try to not have that relationship, you know, restricted to just um, letters and uh, parents evenings. And, no, it has to go a bit in depth. And, uh, and that's what one of the, the things I see that we are going to achieve, I think. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. I have to Latif add as well, as Rosalind always says, you know, it's having that kind of ethos in the school. And you know, I've learned that from my colleague Rosalind Martin mm -hmm. and Latif uh, itself, it's about St. Mungo's about bringing out the best. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, they've absolutely done that. And, and to be in partnership with that and to support, uh, you know, Latif to, to make this group quite successful and it's quite unique and it's mm -hmm. a pilot for trying something like this in a secondary. Uh, because my own experience is primary and I think mm. it, it couldn't have worked <coughs> any better without the support of Rosalind Martin and uh, the teeth and, and I think you know, well done so I hope it keep continues. <laughs> Thank you as well because <laughs> I can, because Rosalind mentioned you be, before we met mm -hmm. and uh, yeah having an idea is not enough but you need a bit of um, you know a push and also encouragement and because there is no time if there is no excitement about an idea you keep mm -hmm. putting it back 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 but we i was happy to have uh, rosaline and shagofta you know to push and to and to make it really happen mm -hmm. and in very short advice is <laughs> <laughs> is never ever take uh, parents for granted because when you turn uh, stones you find always some questions hanging you know there's a lot mm -hmm. a lot to learn from i mean for us uh, you know, members of staff the system is changing a lot there are new jargon new ideas new uh, system new mm -hmm. curriculum mm -hmm. and you have to take the parents with you in that journey because mm -hmm. parents they shouldn't be uh, you know kept behind and they need to know what is curriculum for excellence what is this what is the school ethos are about what is all sorts of things they need to be passed to parents and if you don't have a form 
uh, or a council, how would you communicate with parents? And then to create a form is to, to create in a very relaxed way mm -hmm. and then to be open, to be facilitated more than, you know, telling, you know, to, to give guidance and uh, but is to open because parents, they can come with ideas you don't even uh, think of. Mm -hmm. And that's my opinion, I mean, because they are, uh, these parents we are talking about, they are, uh, they have, they are challenged by language, but they could be great in experiences, in previous experiences in dealing with, with uh, a lot of uh, similar manners, I mean, matters. Mm -hmm. And it's just to empower them, mm -hmm. you know, that's it, to yeah. empower them to, to express their ideas and to ask questions and to learn. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would just say don't give up, keep trying, mm -hmm. uh, it takes time, it takes as I said before a lot of patience and uh, make it fun, you know, that, you know yeah. see, it, it, the parents, let the parents lead it and it all can fall into place. It does take time, it's not going to happen overnight and there will be times where you think, oh, um, the attendance has not been great or, you know, we've not had the interpreters turning up, but it doesn't matter because it does take time. So yeah. just don't give up, keep trying and you know, invite the parents in. Uh, and see what, you know, just take it from there. Yeah. It doesn't and it's teamwork, it's about working with, with other colleagues in the school. You of know, course, um, yeah. You need uh, the, kind of the support from, from senior management in the school and also mm -hmm. from other colleagues. So uh, you do it as a kind of joint project yeah. and you will see success, hopefully. <laughs> yes.